Okay, welcome. Let's get started. Um, very happy to do this summer course on virtual reality. My name is Steve Laval. I'm a professor at the University of Illinois, but uh, this month I'm a visiting professor at IIT Madras. So, so I appreciate the hospitality here and uh, looking forward to offering this two-week course. Um, I'd like to first thank the, uh, the professors for helping uh, me to organize this here. So Professors Ravindran, Manivanan, and Ramanathan are all here, and I appreciate that. Also, um, I thank uh, Oculus Facebook for donating um, Oculus Rift DK2s for the lab. Uh, I believe NVIDIA has also contributed some graphics cards as well, so, so we've gotten very good industry support for this. Um, we have some teaching assistants to help out in the class as well. Are any of them here? Perhaps they can raise their hands just, to, um, just so that people know. So. Um, um, feel free to interact with them. So we have qu quite a few people who are in the course but agreed to be teaching assistants in the sense that they can help with the laboratory part of the course. Um, I'm going to give 20 lectures. I'll be giving two every day for the weekdays for two weeks. Um, they'll be roughly one hour each. We may spill over depending on um, how the topics go and such, but, um, but that's what I will do. The course I just offered at the University of Illinois this past spring um, ran for 15 weeks and um, I lectured for about an, I think an hour and 15 minutes uh, twice a week. So I have about maybe two thirds or so or 60 percent of the total lecture time here. So I will give it a little bit compressed, skip some things. Um, but I, I do want to emphasize this course is I, I would consider to be kind of a rough draft of a course let's say. So the, the course I offered at Illinois was the first run of the course. This is the second run of the course and in a very uh, short amount of time. So I, I don't have a lot of um, PowerPoint slides. I have some pictures and videos to show throughout during some of the lectures, but most of it will be on Blackboard or just me speaking to you. So um, it's not something I've lectured on for many, many years, but I also wanted to do this course immediately to, um, to capitalize on the background and experience that I had while at Oculus um, from 2012 up to 2014. And so I want to take that and fuse that, that, that the information, knowledge that I have from that background um, into this course to give what I may call a modern perspective on virtual reality. Um, there will also be a, um, um, some assignments for you to do. The, this course, um, I, I believe this is not an official course in the sense that you will not get credit or you do not get marks for the class. But I strongly suggest you to do the assignments. Hopefully you're here to learn something and build your skills. Um, so there will be uh, five suggested machine problems. Uh, a couple of them have been posted already on Piazza, which is the uh, online class forum that we'll be using. Um, I have one student, um, don't see him here right now, um, who, oh, there he is. So, sorry, there you are. Um, uh, Suraj Venkat, who was, he's a student at the University of Illinois, and uh, he was in my course in the spring, and he's a resident of Chennai, so he's, he's agreed to come here and kind of help smooth things over for this presentation of the course. And he set up the Piazza uh, forum that we used at the university, and it worked out very nicely. So that gives you an opportunity to ask lots of questions. We try to solve problems together. He will also post some of the most critical uh, pieces of information that we had from that course into this uh, short summer course. And also, um, you know, if I, I strongly encourage you to ask questions in class. If some of you are, are afraid of asking questions in class, especially since this is recorded, um, feel free to post questions on the forum after class. I'll take a look at that and do my best to respond to some of the best questions the next morning when I come in. So we still have a chance to make the class interactive. You can ask your questions offline. Um, in addition to these five suggested machine problems, um, there's also uh, expected to be a final project. And that should be the most exciting thing. And both for the machine problems and for the final project, I suggest that you work in groups, perhaps up to three or four. Um, we have about, what is it, about 15 functioning workstations for you to use. So if everyone wants to work individually, probably difficult, but um, a few at a time. At, at Illinois, we, we had on average about three people per group in working. And I, I, thought it, I thought it went very well. Um, there are three recommended books for the course. I have um, selected them based on um, different areas of coverage. There's no one book that I would say fits this course perfectly. Um, I hope to someday write a book that maybe fuses these things together. Um, one part, which is very far from engineering, is a book by George Mather, Foundations of Sensation and Perception. So. Um, if you want to understand some of the things we're getting into, especially even near the end of today, then I suggest reading the first chapter of this. And this is far outside of what you perhaps normally study if you are engineering students here, which I suspect most or all of you are engineering students here. Um, I've also um, the, recommended a couple of other books. The uh, second book for the class, I, I didn't bring them all here. They're, they're kind of heavy. Um, but uh, let me make sure I get the, 
uh, was it? The, um, the second book is Fundamentals of Computer Graphics by Shirley et al. So, has several other authors and um, that one gives you the engineering and graphics counterpart to the sensation and perception part which is human oriented, but um, that one is just computer graphics not virtual reality. So, it has a lot of the kind of math a lot of the methods um, that we need, but not everything. So, there is a lot of pieces that we draw from for this class. Um, and, and finally, there is an additional book on uh, three dimensional uh, 3 D um, uh, interfaces. Um, all of these should be suggested on Piazza you should be able to find that hopefully if they are not yet uh, we can we can make that available. Hopefully, you can get access to those books All right, So, that is the um, the basics of the course 